I can only imagine Maya being like, you know, on my my side as a fucking cheerleader. <laughs> Her and a cheerleader up. She was like, "Oh, BJ, ECT, tell me what that means to me." Objection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did steal it from another video. Yeah. But anyways, oh, hide so pie pen heading, and we both <laughs> seriously <into> our... <laughs> started with this. <laughs> Uh, Great start to this series. I, w I, want I wanted to say that in the video, so I said. But anyways, welcome to our newest project. Yeah, we're going back to one of the first, well, the earliest uh, visual novel types we I've known, and it's Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, For the Nintendo known in DS. Japan as Gyakuten Saiban. Yes. This is the DS version. DS version. Like a four years later, it was ported to the DS from the GBA. Anyways. Yeah. With Capcom asking to had well, a thing, which we'll see later. Right. It certainly is a thing. Yes, and uh, to all the viewers that are watching this video right now, yes, it does. the screen does look like you're... It's like a fucking storybook, but... Bear with me on this. It, it, All right. I mean, <laughs> Opai just got the DS emulator, so yes, he did the best he could with what he had. Yes, just bear it, with us. It honestly doesn't look that bad. Yes, just bear with us. Anyways, let's begin the first turnabout, episode one. <laughs> Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. I, I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. Like he did it. <laughs> like he did it. Uh, I think the emulator is a little too high, I think, but... It is a little loud, yes. Hold on a second, let me adjust that for a second. How's that? Eh, uh, it's still a little bit loud. Uh, yeah. I think I should, I should put it to two. <laughs> How's that? Maybe it's just because it's being shared through Discord, but it feels really loud. I'm not sure why. Actually, this is good. Actually, I'll just leave it at that. But all right. <sighs> Boy, am I nervous. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, hi, Chief. I mean, boobies. Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. <coughs> um, <coughs> thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. <laughs> a favor, I, I say. <laughs> a favor? You mean you know the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, well, I kind of, kind of called my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I, I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. <laughs> it's over. My life, everything is all over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Isn't that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that. Death, despair. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. Uh, yeah. <sighs> no, that's in a later game. <laughs> I know. Sick. Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, you're so guilty. Damn, I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? 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 What's wrong, Larry? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it's over. I'm, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I 
dead. Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. Um, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Uh, the papers say it was you. <laughs> my name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. <laughs> yeah, fairly simple. I mean, it's just a fucking murder case. So <laughs> yeah, very simple. I don't see the problem. <laughs> a young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlikely sap to ink her. <laughs> Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the Butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault, he just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. And that's what I'm, and that's just what I'm going to do. Oh boy! August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. <laughs> Larry Potts. <laughs> the persecution is ready, Your Honor. The uh, um, <clears throat> stop me up. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> um, Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, I'm a little nervous. Phoenix Wright, Virgin at large. <laughs> Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope we can control your nerves. Th thank you, Your Honor. Go go 13. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to insert your readiness. Uh, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Head shaking. I say fading. <laughs> The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and consistently. Please state the name of the defendant of this case. <laughs> I am the defendant. Jesus. Who me a face the defendant? Uh, uh, defendant? Well, uh, that's Larry Potts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Phew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report from cover, cover to cover so many times. Wait, it's wait. Uh oh. Wait. Uh, no, no, no way! I forgot. I'm totally a dolo bike here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Oh, um, of course I know the victim's name. I um just forgot. <clears throat> Temporarily. I think I'm feeling migraine coming Insert an appropriate joke now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you both hurt? <laughs> You're gonna feel something else. <laughs> Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Just touch the court record button to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> She's begging, alright. <laughs> Who's the victim? Let's hear your answer. Who's the victim? It's Cinder Block! Cinder Block! But yeah. Yeah, court record. Cindy Stone. Uh, oh, slow emulation. Crap. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not perfect emulation, but it works. Eh, it's alright. Cinder Block. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Faye is about to be the victim's. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Spoilers! Um, the victim's name is Cindy Cinderblock. Correct! <laughs> now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was struck by my dick. That being a blunt object. <laughs> God damn it, oh my. <laughs> she was strangled by my dick. She was choked to death. <laughs> God damn it, oh fuck. This video's been flagged. <laughs> Already. She was struck with a blunt object. 
can check the car record, but yeah. But I played this game so many times, I know what it is. I'm sorry. Yeah. Struggle, it's it's in the autopsy report. Right. You can, you can see it here. Loss yeah, of see. blood due to blunt trauma. <laughs> From my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You have answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Ride. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> because I don't be relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, first, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright told us, the victim was struck by with a blood object. My dick. Would you explain to the guard just what that object was? <laughs> My dick. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker! It was found lying on the floor next to the victim! I see. The court accepted two evidence. That you ended up the court record. Right. Be sure to pay more to any evidence I had during the trial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about the laughing. Yeah, we're just. I'm just remember. thinking of that one joke from the past. <laughs> yes. The evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. She got two guns on her chest, though. That's her ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Touch the court record and Check the court record frequently. I'm touching the court record and it's not doing nothing. <laughs> oh, they can't see where the arrow is, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can see it. And I. Yep. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call this first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, the stand! Um, gee, what do I do now? Insert it here. I mean, <clears throat> pay attention, you don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. It gets you a chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. I'm always ready. Let's just hope he doesn't tell you anything unfortunate. Uh oh, never gets excited easily. <laughs> Take another context. This could be bad. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, hey, Butts, hey, buddy. We were great together. We were probably with Julia Claire Patrick and Mark Anthony. Um, <clears throat> didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She was just uh, taking my phone calls for seeing me. Ever. <clears throat> Twitch. What's it to do anyway? Mr. Butts, what do you describe is certainly what we mean by dumped. Like I took a dump just before court. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean? What are the lies? All the lies? I don't even leave a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport heads. that have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she has several sugar daddies. <laughs> daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. In return for favors, she took their money and used it to support their lifestyle. Of course, they gotta have to return the favors, you know? Shit. Like, they're gonna give that shit to her for free? Dude. We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butt, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all in the wrong directions. Should I... I can see what happens or stop it from answering? Well, actually it doesn't matter what you pick, he will still answer. Uh. Yeah, I, th I think if you do stop him, you have some more flavor things, though. <laughs> so I, have to, I always say wait and see what happens, but, you know, let's just stop him from answering. 
slam. <laughs> but Clyde has no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. <laughs> Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? The Chin Chi dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, I'm gonna meet her in the afterlife. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Bottom of her, I mean. <clears throat> Let's continue the trial, shall we? I believe the accused's motive is clear to everyone! Yes, Clyde. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question! You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh oh, he went. He went right in his pants. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, wait, it's time for the signal. Oh, yeah. That's not a bad answer, honestly. I know. I'll send him a signal. Slam. Tell the truth. Point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was there. I went. Rubber, 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 rubber. <laughs> well, Mr. Butts. Do chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. <laughs> I'm not dead! Yeah, the defendant is lying! Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Bust is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. And before making the gruesome discovery, with white. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene from the crime! <laughs> Red blood mixed with white substance. Yeah. Rubber, rubber, rubber. Oh, the order in the court! Mr. Payne? The prosecutor may call this witness. Yes, your honor. <sighs> this is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspaper in the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sowett to the stand. Most obvious name. Jesus Christ. Mr. Scythe, did you sell newspaper subscription? Is this correct? Oh, oh yeah. Newspaper, yes. <laughs> Mr. Scythe, you will proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court on what you saw on the day of the murder. Oh my god. Alright. When does this account? I was going door to door sell his subscription when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he was being in a hurry because when he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. <laughs> I quailed in flight and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in our apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. <laughs> the man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. <clears throat> Trying to point the obvious to me. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to be working during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Stowitt used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for perusal. Even though there's a cordless phone, it still should work. I mean, it's cordless. It's not like it's hooked up to a fucking phone line. Or something. Uh, actually, no, I take that back. Never mind. No, Mr. Wright. Y yes. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. Stop it, Mia. <clears throat> Yes. You 
You're making your it's cross examination, Your Honor. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. <laughs> oh, we're getting into it. All right. I'm about to cross examine me. Uh. <laughs> what, uh, what am I exactly supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies and testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? What? He was lying? What? <laughs> <laughs> the client is innocent, right? Then that witness, mu that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Well, he's guilty of a lot of things. Well, <clears throat> how do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contraction in there. <laughs> I know it says contraction. Contraction. <laughs> God damn it. I wanted to say, say contraction. <laughs> it's a joke in that video. First, find contractions between the court rope and the witnesses. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've found a contraction, <laughs> contraction evidence. God damn it, oh, why you're killing me. Present it and rub it in the witness's face. <laughs> Literally rub it. Um. Okay. <laughs> can you rub your ex <laughs> Can you rub your evidence in my face, Mia? Court record button and point out contractions in the testimony. Oh, Jesus! Cross examination witnesses. Like, oh, we don't. Want, you don't have to read this again. No, I don't. Yeah. Unless you press. But really, in the first case, you don't really need to press. Right. That's that's one thing. You don't learn anything about the press button until the second case, but they show it here. This is just this first case is just simply just finding the just presenting the evidence. Much. Just the way he moves his body, jeez. <laughs> Topsy report. Yeah, 1 p.m. But the time of death was 4 and 5. So, why the fuck did you wait that long, idiot? Yeah. Objection. Objection. You found the body at 1 p.m. You sure? Oh, so of course it. Of course I lose him at this certain time. God damn it, Discord. Slam. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death was at some time after 4 p.m. There was no body, <clears throat> no body to find at 1 p.m. That explains this three-hour gap. <laughs> and starts shaking, sweating like bullets. Yep, told you, told you, I lose him. <laughs> Oh, that! Oh, oh! This is trivial! The witness man forgot the time! <clears throat> After this testimony, I find it hard to believe! Mr. Sonnet, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, er, uh, well, I. Gee, that's a really good question! Uh. Sorry about that, folks. It's always like that that I I lose my I lose my partner in crime. It never fails. Great job, right? Boy, to put him on the spot. I'd like to put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you have to do. Point out contractions. Okay, I gotta stop. Okay, that's a bad habit. I keep saying contractions. It's contradictions. Lies beget always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Testimony again? Yes, again. Oh boy. The time of discovery. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Oh, there we go. Can you see it? Uh. A time of discovery. All right. I guess I missed a few lines. Yeah, that's all good. Good to have you back. 
You see, when I found the oh right, wrong voice. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. <laughs> That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. <laughs> obvious contradiction is obvious. You mean contraction? <laughs> yes. Let's pretend. Mm, I see. You had a voice saying the time of the tape program. Just right. You may have been your cross examine. You might cross examine the witness. Wait, what? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Don't surprise me like that. You know what to do. I got this one. And this one too. <laughs> Get your hands off my press. I don't remember the first time playing this game. Uh, honestly, the contradiction in the first case are pretty fucking easy. Yeah, it is. Funny thing is, uh, this certain one has... There are two spots you can present this certain evidence. Seriously? There's two There's two uh, statements you can get it on this. But I'm gonna get the obvious one here, which is here. Television. It's probably coming to television. However, you said... You said yourself that there was a blackout. Actually, it was Mr. Payne, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Same right. difference. Uh, yes, my bread. He said it. Objection. Objection. Hold it right there. The prosecution said that there was a blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record record proves it. <laughs> Slam. You couldn't have heard the television or video. Uh, I I will. Uh, uh. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sullivan? No, I, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah! Wait! I remember now! Mr. Sullivan, the courts were preparing you to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. And you seem rather... distraught. <laughs> M my apologies, Your Honor. It uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sorens. Let's hear your testimony. Lots more, please. <sighs> Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. <laughs> oh, obvious joke is obvious. <laughs> yup. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Once again, contradiction is obvious. Yeah. You saw a clock? That would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. <laughs> Come over here, Mia. <laughs> I want to cross-examine her body. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear the time. I get it. SAW IT! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. I just love, I love that joke. Even though it's so stupid. Murder weapon. Yeah, the murder weapon. You mean the finger. Like how do you how do you know it was the thinker? Objection! Wait just a moment. Slam. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Plus, well, how did you know it was a clock? Now how is this supposed to be a clock? Well, you with your objection and your evidence. Just who you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw. Hey, I, I I saw it there, okay? That's a clock! He saw it again. Your Honor, if I may! Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I summoned it as a statue. My apologies! I see. 
some of the murder book and looks like a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. Uh, yes, obviously. Does he say he saw the time? How? Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. A gaping hole right over here. It's beside me. <laughs> yeah. The only way he would have known him. The weapon was a clock just to hold it in his hand. <laughs> Cock in his hand. <laughs> Yet the witness testified he never entered the apartment. Slam. Clearly, a contract. No, stop. I contradiction. Hmm. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he. <laughs> he went into the apartment, obviously. You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah, prove it. Prove that one in there. Slam. I'll do better than that. I can prove that you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawyer. The sound of them must have left uh, quite an impression on you. <laughs> Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke as just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture! Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> What the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, saw. Uh, ah! mm. I hate you! It, it was him, I tell you, saw him. He, he killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him that. Should he burn to the ground? Burn! God damn it. Order, order in the court, I said. Your honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claim. Mr. Wright, uh, your honor, the claim to sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is running on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, your honor. The sound of Mr. Saw I heard was definitely this clock. In fact, you, in fact, what you could see could be simply that sounding the clock. <laughs> Ask the neighbors. <laughs> uh, let's sound the clock. Let's let's sound of the clock now here in this courtroom. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Ring. <laughs> It's 8.25. That is certainly a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh, so, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time is it now? It's 11.25! Ah! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between Mr. what Mr. Saw heard that heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Saw, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh oh, what's he talking about? Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! <laughs> he's, he's right. How am I gonna prove that? Damn it, I was so close! Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. I dropped my gavel right over here. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. 
this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sort. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens! They treat like you, me are like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers all slime. I almost had him. Slam. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do now. I'll do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sons. <clears throat> Mia, I mean, boo, I mean, chief. Listen up, Bright. Don't throw him this one away. Not like this. Think, you fucking idiot. But chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can, can't still win. Try and think it out of the box. Don't waste your time doubting the fact. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reasons and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Oh my god. Can you think of a reason why the clock would be three hours slow? No. <laughs> yes! Yes! No, Bison, get out of here. Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let him have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Uh, of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough word! Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Passport. Yes. Yep. Take that. Slam. The victim has just returned from home from abroad the day before the murder. Whoops. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. How the fuck do we know that, actually? Because this is ja japan -ifornia. japan -ifornia. Wow. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim had it reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her with dead in her apartment was wrong. Slam. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw? Or as should I say, Mr. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> he just foams in the mouth and just look, he disappears. <laughs> he just disintegrated. He disbond. <laughs> order, order, I say. Like TF2 is like, farewell, cruel world. <laughs> well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Bay, your client. He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, your honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true girlfriend at the same time. Uh, thank you, your honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. Yay! Come by! Come by! And with that, the court is a joke. It turns out that Mr. Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out in the house that day. Whenever he went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw it let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw it grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. <laughs> his dick. <laughs> it's blunt object. It was very blunt. Phew. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. And all all to you and your massive boobs of knowledge. No, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking like this.
Agnes happy. Oh, no. Not true. <laughs> You've seen her happy before. <clears throat> Off screen. <laughs> Boy, she's this glad. Imagine how hilarious. <laughs> so. <laughs> My life is over. Larry! You're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, oh Nick! Don't worry about me. I'll be just dead and gone soon. Good. I mean, wait. Yeah, I mean, good. I mean, no. Good, 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 good. I know this is bad, but yeah. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. <laughs> but, but, but my Sydney Wendy's gone, man. For I gone forever. Larry, she was a. Hmm. For not go there, but I want to. Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> Harry? Oh my god. The obvious joke is obvious. Butts. Yes, you. I can barely see the <laughs> headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh no! Oh no! I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. She's mine, you bastard. Oh hey. Hey here, take this. It's a present. Present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence lab? Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her, and one for me. R really? You? You made this? Well, uh, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. <laughs> oh, boy. Yo, Nick, can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And she was just playing me for a fool. <laughs> Don't you just make you want to cry? <laughs> Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? <laughs> Who the fuck says that? <laughs> Larry Butts, apparently. I guess so. <laughs> I can- I think she quite- I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you're gonna laugh a sin about us. She's gotta sympathize with me, just okay? Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? <laughs> God damn it! Don't you have something to show to your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Why the heck is she talking about? I'm talking about the thinker. Yup. The statue, actually. Hey, Check this out, Larry. Boop positive when you're some chump to her. Boom! <laughs> just, <laughs> just hit him with the thinker. <laughs> huh? Where did she get that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. Don't you remember? <laughs> Idiot. She took it with her when she traveled. Mm, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take a traveling. Well, make a bit of it, you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Well, that made him up feel a little bit better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People too. We never really know whether if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think that our work here is done. Shall we be all? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. <laughs> I'm like, she is the dinner. I want to have her for dinner. <laughs> we'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry. You could refer to a chair and his name is not Harry. He's Larry, dude. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him? Um, yeah, part of it at least. You have to tell me more about it. And sometimes, maybe over drinks? She, she wants you, dude! Jesus Christ! How can you be so oblivious to it? She, she wants to have dinner? She wants to have a drink with you? She, she wants you all to herself, man. She wants to bang you in her fucking office. Can you see that? So my tr my first trial came to a close, like her legs closed because I didn't get the. God fucking damn hit. it! Oh my! <laughs> like her legs being closed because Bright didn't get the fucking hit. 
yes, I did steal that from another video. I, I, I hold no claim to it. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay me. Unless you count the clock he gave me. Uh... <clears throat> I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon to be at the center of another tr incident. And my promise to tell the inc tell the chief about me and Larry will be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Foreshadowing! <laughs> episode has been added. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Turn about yes. sisters. Gotta love it. Alright, well we got the first trial in one sitting. Uh oh, is this not gonna save? Yeah. Oh, no, it did save. Sweet. Anyways, yes. Episode 1 is done even though it was shit. I showed a picture. Yeah, but it, you know what? It's gonna be odd because I have this horizontally. Remember. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's gonna be cut off like this. Watch. I wanna see it. See? There we go. It's so cut off. Fantastic. <laughs> you wanted to see half of something. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> even though it was a uh, stale, uh, Discord gave us a few problems, but uh, hey, we had fun. As long as everybody has fun, it's all good. Yep. Anyways, stay tuned for episode two. Laters. Bye.